right. Matt, can I start with you? Matt, can I start with you? Oh, yeah, sorry. Wow. Uh, Thursday night, you know, 14 points in the first half. Tonight, you had nine points, I think, in the first four possessions down the floor. With Talia not being available tonight, how much did you feel like you needed to take on even more of that responsibility? Um, honestly, I really didn't feel like I needed to take more responsibility. I kind of felt myself being less aggressive these past few games, so I know I had to come out a little more aggressive. But we knew this game, it was kind of going to be like, you don't really know who's going to be the high score of this game or the leading score or whatever, but we knew we were going to get our easy shot. So that was just like our focus in the practice the past two days. Came out, you hit a three, I think first possession down the floor, maybe second, maybe the first. Does that kind of, you know, kind of settle you down a little bit? What, what does it feel like when you when you hit your first shot? What kind of confidence does that give you moving forward? Oh, uh, it definitely settles me down. I'm sure it settles my teammates down too. Uh, Because, you know, when you don't hit your first few shots, you're kind of, forcing to make that first one an easy one. But since that first one was an easy one, it just like led us into a better flow. Knowing you're going to be at least one player down and say, you can answer this if you want to, knowing you're going to be one player down, <laughs> does that um, change your focus any, or does it, does it, I mean, you're just, you're just going to go all out no matter what saying, I was, you know, I may not get to come out the whole game. I just got to let it all go. I definitely think that, I mean, when you, when you miss a player like Talia, I feel like you would think there's like a huge different difference in our approach. But I think that for us, it's kind of like we have to deal with adversity and, you know, there's going to be games where people have to sit out and we have to respond. And I think that's what makes us really good is everyone can step up at any given point. And I think, you know, when you have a team like that, that you don't know, like she said, who's going to score the most points or who's going to be that who steps up. I think that makes us really challenging to guard and to scout. So I think that's what makes us really special. First half, I don't know that you could have played any better than you did in the first half, but you knew Georgia was going to come out strong in the third quarter. You knew they weren't going to just lay down, but you had three big threes in that quarter. Talk talk about what was what was happening for you in the third quarter. I think just getting to the right spots. Uh, we play really well as a team, and like she said, in practice all week, we worked on getting the easy shot, and sometimes, you know, you might feel open, but someone next to you is way more open, and I think that when you – play with as much confidence in each other like we did in the first half it allowed us to relax and make those open shots because they were so open and we were so willing to share the ball and it was really fun to play off the loss to Kentucky not how you wanted to open SEC play but a really strong performance today how important was it to bounce back and get back on the right foot as you launch into conference play here uh, I think in our conference um Sometimes when you play your best, you can still come out with a loss. And so after the Kentucky game, I think a bit of us were frustrated because it wasn't that we lost. It was that we didn't play well also. So, and I'm not saying if we played well, we were going to win, but it's just kind of like a sucky feeling knowing that you didn't play your best. And that was what caused the loss. And so our focus was just like nothing in that Kentucky game was going to help us win tonight. So it was like, we got to forget that it could help us lose if we dwelled on it and kept dwelling on it this whole game. But we kind of just flipped the switch. Yeah, I definitely think it's important because, like she said, this league's going to be hard, and I think it's how people respond is who does the best. And I think that when you – if that shows, like, how you're going to be the rest of the season, if you lose, are you going to sit there and let it carry over to the next game? And I think this showed a lot of maturity out of our team, being able to move on and not let any of it affect us and come out and play our game and defend and make all the easy shots. I think it showed a lot about us. And then defensively, you guys were really impressive tonight, holding Georgia to 26%, forcing 20 turnovers. How much of an emphasis was that, and how pleased were you guys with your performance on that end? Um, I mean, that's something Coach Todd emphasizes every day. Um, I'm sure everyone knows that. But um, I think today it was just like we messed up actually a lot during the game, and it didn't look like it because we played through the mistakes. Usually we stop and are pointing fingers or looking around like if we're the one messed up, we hang our heads. But today it was like, okay, I messed up, but let me go help my teammates since they helped me. And then I think the past couple of games, at least from an outsider's perspective, the ball movement has been really impressive. And it seems like you guys are becoming more comfortable playing with each other. What does it say about you guys, even with Talia out, that – the ball's moving and, and you're finding open players and, and the offense seems a little bit easier than perhaps it was earlier on. Yeah, I think it's when we watch it on film, sometimes the coaches will call out like, okay, you were open, but so-and-so was more open. And I think that for us, seeing that on film helped us a lot. And I think like, like I said, it's fun when we're moving the ball around and we're getting everyone shots and everyone's hitting. And I think that, you know, when you get that momentum, it's really hard to slow a team down. So 
when we move the ball really well, like they can't guard and we keep attacking and then we hit the open person. I think it just shows, you know, it makes it more fun to be out there and I'm sure it makes it more fun to watch, but I think just getting everyone involved, we love to see each other do well. Sailor 14, three pointers today. What, what was different today than, than Thursday on your, on your looks? 14. Oh, 14 as a team. 14, 14. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was like, you're trying to yeah. Yeah. Well, 14. You know, you shot that many times. Didn't you? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I was like, oh. No, but 14, 14 threes is a lot, you know, for a game. Um, you know, what, what was different today than, than, than maybe in, in recent games? So. Uh, our team shoots the ball really well. And I think, you know, like last game, we didn't shoot the ball really well, but shooters shoot and you ought to keep shooting. And I think, Sometimes for me, it's a mental game, but I think when you have teammates and we all have so much confidence in each other because we see it go in every day that when you, whether it's whoever's not hitting, all of us are trying to pick them up. And if I'm not hitting, everyone's picking me up. And I think it just shows how much confidence we do have in each other's shot, not just because we can, but because we all see it go in every day and we practice these shots. We all come in, we put in the time. So I just think that, you know, that sh we are really good shooters. And I think sometimes the games don't always reflect that, but today does. Max, seems like you got, got, got a lot of tip balls today. You got you you got your hands on a lot of balls today, um, defensively. What what were you guys doing that was real, that you felt like was real effective? Um, I think we were just more engaged today. Uh, we watched the film and we know who their obviously star player was, and knowing that we got to make her life hard for these forty minutes, and so just locking in on that and. Not that my player couldn't score, but knowing that that's not what they're looking for in the offense. They're looking for her. So knowing that that's where they're trying to force the ball. Thank you. Thank y'all.